Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Curls Next Door here. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. So you guys, as you have seen by the title, this is going to be a very, very quick Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul. I think this is it. I think I hit the jackpot. Um, I went out to the outlets, which is about an hour and a half away from me, and um, I scored big. I scored on items that I've really, really wanted for a long time, and um, I just went in, okay? So let's get into this haul. So I did walk out of Victoria's Secret, the outlets, with about three bags, only because the sale was amazing. The clearance in there was like nothing I've ever seen in my life. Now I visit the store at least twice a year. Every time I go into Orlando, um, I would go into the outlets and I've never seen such amazing clearance in my life so this is the first bag that i am going to share with you today um, i did try to consolidate everything into the two larger bags as much as possible with that being said let us get into the product first item that i have been wanting to add to my collection for the longest time was this honey lavender body lotion now there were other parts to this line. There was a body mist and a body scrub, I think. Um, but I just wanted the lotion to add to my collection. I love the lavender and I love the smell of it. You can definitely get a hint of honey in here. The lavender is not too prominent. I did go ahead and smell this in the store and um, yeah, I definitely had to add it to my collection. It smells like something that you would put on a baby. Um, so I like it light and refreshing and of course i had to add it to my collection the next item that i have been meaning to add to my collection for the longest is this tropic vanilla body mist the fragrance notes are coconut flower and chilled vanilla this smells really really good it smells really coconutty very tropical scented I just love the smell of this. It smells really, really good. It definitely takes me back to the tropics and I'm glad that I was able to add this to my collection. Next out of this bag, I was able to add this Jasmine and Elderberry Bliss body mist to my collection. The scent notes in this are Jasmine and Elderberry. And I do have the body scrub to this and I believe I have a shower gel so i was able to add this one to my collection it smells so good if you're not a big fan of jasmine you will definitely not like this one um you definitely have to be rocking with jasmine in order to appreciate this so i'm not a super super jasmine lover but together mixed with the elderberry just makes this a beautiful fruity floral i love this Next, I have in this bag, Pure Seduction Heat Body Mist. The fragrance notes are Sparkling Raspberry, Sun-Kissed Hibiscus, Pure Seduction Heats Up. Smells really good. I've been wanting to add this to my collection for the longest. Every time I go into the standalone Victoria's Secret store, this would be sold out. So I was really happy and super excited to get this for $6 at my outlet store. Next, I have this Beach Nectar Fragrance Mist. The fragrance notes on here are Salty Papaya and Pink Guava. Another item that I've been dying to add to my collection. I'm really super excited to add this one, another tropical vacation scent, if you ask me. Next, we have the Cocoa Body Milk Coconut Oil. And this also has shea butter added. I do have the entire line in the Coco collection, but I did not have this. It looks like a, some sort of a creamy body oil, if you ask me. 
Ooh. So this is the consistency of it. It's really runny, smells just like coconut. It's a very milky consistency. Um, smells great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't leave that oily feel for sure, as you can tell, but it definitely moisturizes and I'm happy that I do have it. Next, I picked up this Mandarin and Honeysuckle and Energize Body Mist. This one has notes of Mandarin and Honeysuckle. Another fruity floral that smells amazing. Again, I do have the body scrub in this and um, I'm excited to wear and pair both of them. Next, I have the Sunset Sorbet Body Lotion that of course I had to pick up another coconutty tropical vacation scented thing that I had to add to my collection. Not that I have already a thousand coconut scented things in my collection, but I love the body scrub in this. And I picked that up from, I believe, two SASs ago. So I had to add the lotion to my collection. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the body mist, but I will trust me before the summer is over so I had to add this to my collection tropical beautiful smelling scented thing another tropical scented thing another vacation scented thing is gonna be this body lotion this is an island away where the fragrance notes are cracked coconut beach driftwood and breathe in paradise and when I tell you this smells amazing, it definitely does. It definitely takes me back to somebody's island where, you know, I'm just being served drinks all day. That is what this smells like. It smells so good. Really nice, refreshing, coconutty scented thing. Another warm tropical scented thing that I did pick up was this Vanilla Tropic with Bright Lotus body lotion. This one has bronze, vanilla, bright lotus, and found paradise. Beautifully scented, very nice and sweet, very tropical. I did rub some of this on my hand while I was in a store, while I was walking around a store. I got whiffs of this thing. It is a very sweet smelling vanilla with a hint of floral that anybody would love. So I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on this. Hopefully I can make another run back to Orlando really, really soon and pick up another one of these um, to add to my collection because this one is gonna be gone really, really soon. I like this. I wanna show you two things that I picked up that of course I could not leave them behind was this Wicked Auto Parfum where the fragrance notes are Freesia, Black Sugar and Tahitian Vanilla. I had to pick this up. This is in a 3.4 fluid ounce. Also, along with that, I picked up this fine fragrance lotion in the Wicked, same fragrance notes as well. Um, I paid $24.99 for this one, and I think I paid $7 for this one. Um, I had to have both of them together. So many good reviews on this one, and online, I think the 3.4 fluid ounces are 34 or $35, somewhere around there. I got this for $24.99 at my store. So of course I had to pick both of these up to pair them together and smell wicked. In this bag, I picked up two bombshell sun-drenched fine fragrance mist. I missed out on this in the last SAS um, because I waited. I waited for that sun-drenched Eau de Parfum to drop and by the time I was ready to go back into the store, um, they were gone. I couldn't even find a fragrance mist to go along with it. The only thing I was able to find was the lotion at $12.99 and guess what? At the outlets, I picked up two of these for $12.99. So this is amazing. I could not leave these clearance prices behind. I love the very sunscreeny scent that this 
uh, bombshell sun drenched just gives off it radiates in the heat in the meantime in between time this is what I'm gonna be dealing with and they smell amazing I was also able to pick up these 24-hour moisture whipped body butters mixed with shea this is the lavender and vanilla and this one is the pomegranate and lotus these were $4.99 at my Victoria's Secret outlets. Um, beautiful smelling. I really wasn't going to get this one. I was just going to get the pomegranate and lotus. But when I opened this and I took a whiff of it, um, I had to have it. So, of course, I had to pick up both because the deal was just too good to pass. And finally, in the first bag, I had to pick up this Victoria's Secret tease. Candy Noir Whipped Body Cream. This is all glass. It is so elegant. It smells amazing. I had to pick it up because I have the auto perfume to go along with it. I just think that this is such elegance in a jar. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. Um, as far as hydration, I haven't even used this on my skin just yet, but I can't wait to pair this up with the Eau de Parfum. Um, I know I'm going to love this one. I already know. Look at this jar. $7 at the outlets. On to the second bag. I picked up this Victoria's Secret Summer in the Sun. Fine fragrance mist. The fragrance notes are in neroli flower and salted pear. It smells so good. I just wanted to have amazing products that I can rock this summer on somebody's beach, on somebody's island, on somebody's resort, even in my backyard. I just want to smell amazing. Not sure when this collection came out, but all I know is that it smells amazing. The next one that I was able to pick up from that collection is Surf on the Waves, where the fragrance notes are cracked coconuts and tiari petals. And it said the tide is high. I'm not sure if this is a more aquatic. I haven't smelled any of these. There is no first impressions. I just want to show you what I picked up from the store because at $5.99, they're amazing, amazing deals, if you ask me. So I'm super, super excited to go ahead and try this one and um, give you my impressions of it. And the final one I was able to pick up from that collection is the Bellini on the Breeze. The fragrance notes are Island Peach, Iced Hibiscus, and Vacation Starts Now. I'm thinking maybe this trio is from some type of a summer vacation collection. I am not sure. What I'm sure about is that I'm going to be rocking this this coming summer. Um, again, I have not smelt any of these, so I don't have a first impression. Um, I feel like I'm going to love them regardless. Next, another line that I'm not even sure if it actually made it into stores um or not but it was this victoria's secret wander the meadow this one has strawberry rhubarb and freesia blooms i was able to pick up the fine fragrance mist and the body cream to go along with it um i don't know it just smells really it smells really nice to me so i was able to find this in a random spot somewhere and then this was in one of those tubs but um, I couldn't leave it behind because there's strawberry and there's rhubarb in here. And I love both notes the same. So I had to pick it up, try this out, test it, give it a wear test, see how and if it works for me. And if not, it was only $5. Next is an item that I have been stalking my pink section for. And I they just never had it in stock is this Kiwi Chill um, body lotion. And the notes are Lime Squeeze and Iced Kiwi. I have so many Kiwi scented things that I just want to 
um, or fruity scent of things that I just want to um, use this with that, you know, I was never able to find this at my store. And today was my lucky day that I was able to go ahead and smell this one. First time smelling it, um, and I really like. So I have a lot of combos coming up, especially with this one for the upcoming summer. Another item that I was just really super excited to pick up was this Wild Cherry uh, Body Lotion. The notes are Dark Cherry and Pink Honey is another one that I've been stalking for a long, long time. Never, never available at my store. I know this has been out for quite a while now. Um, why I was not able to pick it up, I don't know. But with all the cherry scented things or the fruity scented things that I now have in my collection, I could not leave this on the shelf. This was a no brainer. Um, and I was so happy to pick this up at $5.99. The last two body care items that I was able to pick up at my store that I've been craving. I just did not want to pay the shipping online and they were available for a long, long time. Um, I just didn't want to pay the shipping, but I saw them at the outlet and I picked up the melon scrub and I picked up the mango scrub. Two of these I've been craving. I can't wait to use this in the shower give my first impressions and my thoughts on these because why not? Summer is around the corner and I want to smell my best. So I had to pick these up and add them to my collection. So that is it for the body care. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of clothing items that I picked up for my daughters and myself at the store. It's not a lot because I pretty much go into Victoria's Secret the outlets for um, just retired scents, basically. And I was able to find these clothing items at an amazing deal. For my daughters, I picked up this, I guess it's a cover-up. These were $9.99 at my store. And I picked up two of these cover-ups. I don't know if you can see the entire thing, where they can use it on vacation at the pool or you know, wherever. So I picked up two of these for my youngest daughters and they were $9.99 each. And then for myself, I picked up a couple of robes in the lingerie department. Um, these were $20 each. The only thing is they were all in an extra large. There was no medium, no small or large. And I opted for the extra large because it's better to have it bigger than not fit at all. So I picked up this beautiful kimono. I love the little flowers and the strawberries on the print. It just screams summer to me. So I had to have that. And then finally, I picked up this polka dot blue kimono or robe, um, whatever you want to call it. Again, this was... $20 um, and it was an extra large as well. I love the elegant sleeve. Um, it is a short robe, if you can see, and I love the lace detailing on it. The material is very, very thick. It's nothing that's really, um, you know, it's nothing cheap. It's really, really thick. And this must be a cotton material and here is, um, I don't know, is it lace? I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful, beautiful kimono that I can't wait to wear. This is what she looks like. Very heavy, very durable, very beautiful. So you guys, that is it. That is it for my Victoria's Secret haul. Um, the outlet edition, I should say. I'm super, super excited I was able to find all these items at an amazing, amazing deal. I can't believe it. I can't believe that I found some things that were on my list for a long, long time. The total that I paid for all of these items were under $200, and that's for everything. At the outlets, compared to when you go into store right now for the sale. So 
next year when I visit my Victoria's Secret outlets again, um, the things that I want might pop up if I don't get it online. So it is what it is. I'm so happy that I was able to add all these amazing finds to my collection. And I am here for another shopping experience. People were moving in and out that Victoria's Secret outlet. They were shopping in and out, and that's the vibe I was looking for. They put me in a mood where I felt like I just wanted to drop $200 on some of these bomb items because why not? So I love you until my next haul and may God bless you.